young man. It appears you've made quite a name for yourself amidst all this mess. And yet, as touching as this little reunion is... We're not here to talk. Even after everything we told you, you're still content to be pawns in Bethel's game. I don't know what you see in him. Just watch, and he'll die like any other demon. Hmm. You can see we're a bit divided on this matter. Would you be so kind as to prove my point?
So it's true. You were the one who put Lamu down. All that strength, and you're still content to be Bethel's lapdog. What are you thinking? You've seen what happens to the humans who demons set their sights on. They get twisted, manipulated, broken. Did those demons make anyone's lives better? Or did they ruin everything they touched? Demons are a blot on our world that must be cleansed. If you think they're worth fighting for, then by all means, prove it. Really? Could you say that for the two who died at Lamu's hands? What's the matter? This boy knew the girl who was tempted by Lamu. I watched him fight and struggle to save her, and fail. Not just her. Despite all his efforts, he could not even protect the girl who stood at his side. I see. So, the demons have taken a lot from you, too. The demons are parasites who feed off mankind's pain and weakness. They don't belong in our world. <laughs> Until we meet again. So, demons don't belong in this world? I suppose if that's true, it applies to proto-fiends like myself, correct? Our interference with Lamu's plot resulted in the deaths of two humans. Not only that, I've irrevocably changed your own life as well. Do you believe I belong with you? Or have I been a burden? All right then, I'm relieved you feel that way. I swear, I'll do everything in my power to protect you. <laughs> <laughs>